Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Um, I just got done actually building a couple of, as you could see, Lego Speed Champions. I got about five of these. Uh, these are from the new uh, series that came out recently at the beginning of March. And initially I was going to do a separate video for each. Uh, but I figured, you know, I'll just throw a video up there of all the ones that I have and that I've built so far. Uh, these are really pretty cool. I figure we can get started with the uh, Ferrari here, the 512M from 1970. This is Lego set 76906 for anyone out there that may be interested. Uh, really nice box. There's the Lego model. Again, the Lego model. And here's a real life picture of the car. And you obviously get instructions with these. Uh, which is really cool. Really nice box, but I probably um, won't end up keeping these, uh, even though as cool as they are. So we'll put that aside. And here is the main attraction. Um, again, uh, Lego has, I think for the most part, done a really great job moving to eight studs. I think it gives the cars better proportions and a bit uh, better size compared to the uh, the previous, which I believe was six studs wide. Uh, but this one specifically is really cool. I want to get this because it's it seemed like such a unique shape uh, for a car. I specifically like the way they built these arches in the front uh, to give it some kind of curvature there. You can see all the different pieces. Uh, really cool. The, the other thing that I also do uh, like about this one is uh, the cockpit. It's kind of like on a hinge. Uh, most of the other ones you kind of take off completely, but this one's on a hinge that you can, um, you know, open and close. It's pretty cool. Um, really uh, fairly, you know, simple build, but that's what I appreciate about these is after building the big, bigger sets, uh, these are sort of like a break from the larger, uh, more complex sets. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, again, because of the price point, you do get uh, quite a bit of stickers. So stickers here, uh, stickers here, on the sides here, here, uh, everywhere, here in this particular model. Not too bad. Uh, you do get a printed piece in this one here in a cockpit. Um, but, but I do, I, I do love the way this, this sort of model came out. Uh, really cool. I'm glad Lego, um, it sort of, again, moved to this eight sud wide because it gives it a good proportion. And in addition to, you know, the guy, you also get a driver, which does fit in the, um, you could see him there. He's got his nice, uh, white racing suit with the print on the front and the back and on a little bit of print on the legs. Really cool, but he could fit in there really nicely. The other one that I also got, and let me fix that and put him aside a little bit, was the uh, Countach. Really, really awesome. And this is the main one that I was really looking forward to. Uh, I think they did such a great job. This would be set 76908 Lamborghini Countach. Uh, again, here's a box. Uh, really nice. Uh, you'll see in the actual model, they did such a great job with the back. And there's a real life car. Really cool uh, stuff there, I think, from Lego. And here's the actual model. And this is really, really nice. Uh, I just love, love the way this, this car came out. The proportions, I think, in 8 that are just, just right for this car. Uh, I mean, the front here... The um the sides I like how they you know the pieces you used to build you know leave the little piece uh, here to look like the intake from the real car. Uh, the back specifically came out really nice with the the way they the pieces they used to design the the lights. Um, you know I cannot say enough good things about this one. I think if you were to just get one from this new series, it would be this one. And you don't only need to be a Lego fan. I think if you're a car fan in general you collect you know car models i think this would be an awesome awesome purchase the um, printed piece here on the windshield the whole thing comes off and you do get the red interior with the little shifter there and the steering wheel uh not much but you know at this scale you can't really ex expect anything uh you know too complicated for interiors um again you know uh, price point again Keeping that in mind, a lot of these pieces are stickers and you do get quite a bit of them. Although not so much in some of the other sets I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, I like the printed pieces here on, on the on the rims. Those are really cool. Uh, you know, they did an awesome job with that. 
but you do get some stickers here. Th these are mostly uh, clear, like see-through stickers that you apply onto the body. Um, and I, I'm very OCD, so I have a hard time putting these on straight, or sometimes they don't look, they don't look right to me. Um, but again, you can see here in the front, that's a sticker as well. And same thing on the back with the Lamborghini Countach uh, lettering. Uh, but you can't complain too much, again, at this, at this price point with the license. And they've done such a great job specifically with this car. Uh, you know, I, I can't fault them. It's really, really cool. I would say this is the one that's definitely uh, worth getting if you're only thinking about getting uh, just just one. So we'll leave these as a background for now. The other set that I did buy, um, and it came very close to um, the Countach for me, was this um, this one here. This is the uh, Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance and the AMG Project 1. This is set 76909. This is a two-pack, uh, you know, Mercedes there. AMG Pertonus, really cool. And on the back, again, more product shots. Uh, and then some real life uh, shots there. Really cool stuff. I'll put that here for now, even though you guys can see it in the first car. Um, and this one comes really close. If you were able to get just this one, uh, it, uh, for my preference, um, if you were able to just get this one, you know, by itself without getting the two pack is definitely very close to, to this one for me. Uh, really cool. I, I'm glad we got a, a formula car here. Um, I love the way they've done the uh, tires. These are printed pieces uh, here on the tires, which are really, really cool. Uh, but this set does have a ton of stickers, which I guess is it's normal for formula cars, but there's a lot of little stickers uh, that you are going to have to put on really small pieces, trying to put them on as straight as possible. Um, I do like the whole color, the black, you know, that livery of the, the Mercedes formula car. But this one's really, really cool. Um, I think if they had sold this one by itself, I would have just gotten this one. The other one's not so bad. But uh, you can see the driver there. And the cool thing, too, is you can um, they give you enough pieces to switch the, the back here so this is uh lewis hamilton's uh number 44 and then you also get different pieces to uh change it like here's a, the back piece for i think this is valtteri botas if i'm pronouncing pronouncing that right uh but it's cool you know you can um switch numbers if if needed if that's your thing but uh for me you know this is going to be uh hamilton in his formula car uh really cool awesome job there Again, uh, great, great job then moving to 8 stud. I, I think it this really did the car, this particular car, uh, a lot of um, justice. Really cool. And you can move this um, up and down. And you guys can see I have the driver there. Really cool. But also part of this uh, two-pack that you get with this one, um, as I said, you get the Mercedes AMG project one uh, and this is not a bad car by any means uh it's just very like a uh, supercar it reminds me of all the other cars that have already been released um but really cool uh the nice thing is that uh, you know you also get a ton of stickers uh with this you guys could see them there and you have to place them in really small and tight spaces here these are all stickers uh this wing too it's really cool actually the way you build this wing but there's stickers there on both sides again i know for the price point um you know, it can be helped. But the cool thing is they, they may be listening because these headlights are printed. And that was really, really cool to see that printed and printed. And also this uh, the sign on a grill is printed as well. You know, wow, like I was really blown away by the fact that they included that. And I think maybe they're starting to listen for certain cars that, you know, they need to start including printed pieces. But again, more stickers back here. But this car, I don't mind. Uh, it, it's it's a nice looking car. It's a nice looking vehicle. I don't mind owning it. It just reminds me a lot of like a generic uh, super like hyper car, which is not bad looking by any means. It's 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 a cool car, but um, I really do think the formula car 
it's the star of that of that uh of this two pack here um and not bad again and and you can remove the cockpit again a little bit of interior there so more stickers that you have to put in place um really cool and this is the thing i was saying you know with the windshields and and sort of like the Ferrari here is you have to pop these, whereas on the Ferrari, it's actually on a hinge. Uh, I know it can't be helped because of the way, you know, the scale and how these are built. But uh, a really cool uh, figure, I guess, sorry, not figure, but a uh, vehicle here. Again, the move into the 8 stud, uh, good idea, Lego. If I'm fully in support of that. Really cool. And you do get an extra driver um, with that guy, which is this lady here uh, she has a, a hair piece and a hat and you could also um, you know uh, flip her helmet when you put her in the car or put her aside and also one thing I forgot is the Countach also comes with a minifigure and here it is I left him aside and I believe he also has a different hair piece if you don't want to put the helmet on um, but again, I usually put all my guys in the in the cars when I'm I'm going to display them. Um, so let's move these guys aside and make more room for two more. And the other two are is this set uh, seven six nine one ten, which is the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. Which is this one and the Aston Martin Vantage GT3. Uh, really cool set. I was not planning on getting this one, uh, but again, I, I had some extra points left over and some gift cards and decided to, hey, why not? Really cool set. So we'll put this box um, off to the side. And the first car we'll start off with is the, the Valkyrie AMR. And this one surprised me quite a bit. Again, I wasn't planning on getting this, but once I started building this, uh, for whatever reason, this one grabbed me the most. I don't know if it's a loud green color, uh, but just the way this car was built and it was designed, the, the spoiler and all the little shapes and pieces that you use to make the car, really, really cool. I think this, kind, this car came in together very well. Again, uh, printed pieces here on the wheels. Um, the other cool thing is, again, similarly to the um, Mercedes here, uh, printed pieces on the headlights. Again, really cool Lego. Way to go. Uh, I really love those. Really nice. Uh, you do obviously still need to put a bunch of stickers in this set. And, I, you know, like here, 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 um, just a lot. A lot of stickers here on, on the wing these are all stickers uh, and again you know price point and all that but this one did surprise me a bit uh, I, I like this one a lot and it's a um, it's a pretty long I don't know if you guys could see it's a pretty long set like car rather not set um, you guys could see the size there there uh, so this one surprised me um, this one really made this particular set for me out, out of the two I think this one came out really well. I also like the way you, you initially build the wings and the hinge and then you lower it. Uh, it's really cool. And you guys can see the interior there. Uh, again, more st and sticker for the interior, which can't be helped. And, you know, the, the windshield. Um, but this one's really cool. Again, let me try and put this back. Uh, the Valkyrie, really nice. Uh, this one, I guess this is a hyper car, you would call it, but uh, it came out really, really cool. This, for me, was the star, again, as I said, of, of that set. And in addition to that one, you also get this one, which is the Aston Martin Vantage GT3. A uh, really cool little car. I like the, the dark gray, maybe a little better than this uh, lighter gray on the Mercedes. Um, but, but again, it's very reminiscent of... Uh, you know, supercar, hypercar type thing. Um, don't, don't get me wrong, it's a really nice, uh, great looking car. Um, I also did appreciate that, again, you get printed headlights. And there was also a little printed piece back here. I don't know if you could see that Aston Martin, the wings uh, emblem there. That it's printed on there. I almost used the piece in another step and, and kind of lost it. I had to go back and find it. 
So that's a printed piece. That's that's rather interesting, something so small. Uh, but again, more stickers and, and a whole bunch on the, the wing here and the back parts, the, this part here. It's a sticker and all of this here. Uh, by the hood here as well on the sides. A lot of stickers, guys. But, you know, at this price point, again, my assumption is that it can't be helped. I do like the shape of this one a little better than the Mercedes uh, here, um, than the Project One. But, um, you know, it's it's not a bad looking car. Uh, I do, you know, I think I, I enjoy I enjoy the build and I do like the way this one looks. It's really, really cool. But um, I would say out of the two pack sets, um, the Mercedes here is uh, sort of the star, definitely. And then out of the Aston Martin set, definitely the Valkyrie one. Um, all the cars are not by any means any bad uh, sets or anything. Uh, but they're really, really, really cool. And I'm going to see if I can get these in there for you, all of them at once, so you guys could see them. I don't have a professional setup or anything, but I will try my best. And the only one I didn't get, I believe there is a Lotus. I will not be getting that one. Um, just simply, I, I looked at it, wasn't too too crazy about it. Uh, so I'll probably end up skipping that or, or maybe I'll end up getting it um, when it's on sale. But you guys could see them all there. There's all the sets that I have, starting with the Mercedes Formula, the uh, Project One, AMG cars, uh, the Aston Martin, the Valkyrie, and the Vantage, the awesome, awesome um, Countach. Awesome car and the Ferrari 612. And then just real quick, if you guys want to see them, my favorite set from last year, and still I think my favorite set of this year, was the Bronco R and a 4GT. So here they are, so you guys could see them together. Uh, really cool, and again, I, I think Lego has done a great, awesome job in um, adding these to, to the series, going 8 stud wide. Here's another one, you know, the Toyota Supra, really cool. And this is what I mean, why I appreciate the printing on the uh, headlights and some of the newer ones so much. If you guys see this one, those three are all freaking <laughs> stickers on the headlights and then the emblem. Um, I, again, I know it can't be helped, but I'm glad that at least on some of these models like this, you know, the... The Aston Martin, the Mercedes, and the Valkyrie here, uh, you get prints. So it's it's really cool when they actually are able to to do this. But you guys could see them all there. This is a previous um, 2021 series. At least I don't have all of them. And here's some of the previous ones. I really do hope that they make more uh, rally cars. Here's the Audi. And here's a Ferrari. Another Ferrari. This is the F8 uh, tri Tributo, I believe. But just some cars uh, there so you guys could see them. Uh, really cool. Now I just got to find room to display these. Anyway, I think the video has gone long enough. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. You know, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.